Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. I'm going to talk about the Atari 2600 because I haven't for a while and also this is inspired by a video done by the immortal John Hancock. He was recently given a prototype of a new controller that's uh, coming out which is this weird combination of Atari uh, joystick and also paddle controller. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. I think that looks kind of weird to me, but I'm hoping it's maybe going to show at some of the upcoming events like the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I've already bought my tickets, so looking forward to attending that. And if this weird controller is there, I want to get my hands on it because, to me, the idea of combining the Atari 2600 joystick and the Atari 2600 paddles is neat, but I don't think that would work. I mean, um, the, especially the way John's handling that thing when he's doing joystick movements with nothing but a thumb. I just don't think that's really going to work properly. Uh, I love these controllers, really love the joystick, and I've got my set of paddles here. And I, it made me think, you know, there's a game that actually I thought would be a paddle game. Turns out it's a joystick game. And I thought, well, let's, let's try that out. And that game is Enduro, which I know a lot of people really love. I didn't really play this game. I never had it. And I always thought, well, if I've got um, any other racing game like Night Driver or what have you, why would, I, why would I want to play this? But I know a lot of people really love Enduro, and it is played with the joystick, which is odd, especially considering you really only use the joystick left and right and the button to accelerate. Why could this not be a paddle game? This makes sense to be a paddle game. Uh, apparently the only thing that requires any third kind of control other than left and right or hitting an accelerator is to push back on the joystick if you want to slow down. However, uh, let's give Enduro a try. So I'm pushing up on, or pushing the uh, button to accelerate. And then I just want to, oh, oh nasty, okay. I think if you let go of the button, you maintain your speed. Yeah. Let's keep going. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh. Nasty. All right. Let's go faster. The other nice thing about this game, it's got a lot of depth. You go through different environments, different times of day. Whoa. Okay. Not that fast. And you want to pass a certain number of cars, I think. Like I'm at... Yeah, one, 159 to go, 156 to go. Activision really did a nice job with this. They've got um, animation of the wheels. Ooh, now I'm on icy conditions, which I think... I like what they've done with the sound. I don't really notice, though, I've got any less traction. So I think it's more of just a pallet swap. I don't think I'm actually feeling any effect of being on snow. Yeah, that's a, maybe a missed opportunity. There aren't any uh, difficulty settings in this. Like, I can't make this more realistic. I really wish it was a paddle game. All right, let's get farther here. Whoa! Whoa, 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 jeez. Okay. I seem to recall I've got... Gotta pass all those cars. What's that number one indicating in the bottom corner there? How many lives left? I'll get. No, no, I'm still in there. It's not my gear. Now that's a cool effect. The um, traffic lights at night thing. I like that. I mean, it's a very nice challenge. And I kind of wish I had played this back in the day, especially since this is the Night Driver game that I wished for. Remember I talked about the Atar the arcade machine and how I was kind of disappointed the uh, Atari 2600 port. Whoa! I should not have got through those two cars. Yeah, the 2600 port of uh, Night Driver is nothing like the arcade and it's not all that good. <laughs> oh, I can't even see the horizon now. Yikes! This is a really good game, ah. but, I mean, other than using the back on the joystick to 
to slow down, which I'm not even using because I'm hitting too many cars. Why do I want to have... This is a joystick game. It makes more sense to be paddled. See, with that controller John Hancock's got, I can easily... I mean, I don't think it does like an A-B flip. I don't think you can play paddle games with a joystick. Oh, something's, something's counting down. We got so much time to pass 10 more cars. Oh, oh, it did it. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is fast. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, what is this? Like, I'm just. I've got flags indicating I succeeded, and now I guess I'm doing just a tour to. What do you call it? A Miracle Mile? What's that? What do you call it when you go around the uh, the tour one more time in a victory? Anyway, is that all I'm doing here? Oh, no, no, no. I succeeded. Now i got to pass 288 cars. Okay. Victory lap. Um, now it's a number two. Oh, maybe that's... Isn't that something like you've got two days? Like, this is, this is kind of your career mode. Now you're on your second day of... Uh, doing the race, and these are how many cars you have to pass on this day, or something, I don't know. I did look up the manual to make sure there's no difficulty settings to make the snow more challenging, and I also checked the controls, it's just left and right button and pull back to slow down. But uh, I didn't look up what that display indicates, whoa! Well, let's see if the snow is a little bit tougher on the second day here, a little more realistic. You know, it is more sluggish. I don't. I still have the same amount of traction, but it, I do feel a little bit sluggish in the snow, so I take it back. It's a little bit tricky. But you'd think, well, wouldn't they make this icy and, like, you're slipping and sliding all over the road? They have not done so. I like the muffled sound. They, they really did a nice job with this. Like, it's, it's a good game. And now we're back to non-icy conditions. Yeah, I can see why people like this. It's it's a good Atari game. By Activision, obviously, and the logo in the corner. But I don't know that I... I wonder, you know what? Given that kind of twitch response you need to get through the traffic, I wonder if it would have worked with the paddle, now that I've played it a bit. Um, like, I really need to zip, especially in this Night Driver mode, I need to zip in and out here, and I don't know that the paddle would have done that. I don't know how precise the paddle is. Whoa! So maybe that sudden twitchy left and right control that is really kind of needed for these sections, especially when you're going very fast, it may not have been something that was doable with the paddle after all. Yeah, yeah that was pretty cool. I am going to play more of this. Uh, oh. I don't think this would be playable with that uh, D-pad type controller John Hancock has though. I mean, again, I, I really need to try that thing out because I'm feeling like the, the sort of thumb nub thing that they're using for the joystick part of it is just going to not feel right, especially for like games like this, uh, games like Pac-Man, anything that really you need you need um, good concentrating control over your movement. No, nope. I'm not going to pass 80, 79 cars in the next little bit. So this might be the end of my game. Let's see where we get to here. Can you do it? I don't know how long that thing beeps for. But I have a feeling my game is about to end. Exciting, actually. Oh. Well, there we go. Not bad, though. Well, there we go. There's Enduro on the Atari 2600, a joystick game that kind of could have been a paddle game, but now that I've played it, you know, maybe, maybe there's actually more to it than that. Maybe the Twitch-type left and right action you need to do to keep yourself ahead of the game here, maybe that wouldn't have been doable with a paddle. 
All right, well, until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.